After more than a year of planning and the team traveling from as far away as Germany, we found ourselves waking up in Big Sky Camp in the southwest branch of Lechigia Cave, deep below the surface of the Guadalupe Mountains and Carlsbad Caverns <laughs> National Park. The second day of the eight-day expedition begins with coffee at 7 a.m. There's no sunrise and there will be no sunset, but watches with alarms help keep us on a regular schedule. The first objective for the week was to complete resurveying and check a climb that are at the very back of a well-decorated area on the far side of Lake Castrovalva. We tackled this first while we were cleaner. We brought a pack raft that was previously disinfected to minimize any contamination of the lake. The raft weighs less than three pounds and we used cave diving guideline to shuttle it back and forth. Lake Castrovalva is one of the most beautiful areas in Lech and with no leads or work objectives remaining, it will probably not be visited again for a very long time.
addition to the climb at Lake Castrovalva, another dome climb was done near the southwest corner of the voids. Some technical climbs in Lech can be done with free climbing or by using rope tossing tricks. Nice work, Derek. But for steeper routes, direct aid techniques are often necessary. The use of power drills is not permitted for lead climbing, so we have to use traditional climbing gear. If a bolt is necessary, then it must be hand drilled. This short but steep dome climb required one bolt and a bat hook to cross an awkward overhang. The final 30 feet of the dome was easily free climbed, but the room at the top proved to be blind. We surveyed the area and then pulled our ropes down. <laughs> 